bueno, impresionante, la verdad que me han recibido aquí en una manera muy cálida, me siento ya en casa, eh, ya trabajando, ya entrevistando y eh, estoy muy contento de estar aquí hoy presente realmente para inaugurar esta cooperación entre una empresa israelí eh, de alta tecnología con esta empresa multinacional grande que es Sodexo. Espero que sea un inicio de una cooperación de muchas eh, empresas israelíes con empresas mexicanas o multinacionales. Aquí al lado mío está el eh, director general o el eh, presidente eh, de la empresa israelí Happy o en su nombre mundial Keepers. Y eh, es otra vez un ejemplo cómo alta tecnología israelí puede beneficiar a empresas eh, 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 mexicanas y, eh, y internacionales. Estoy acompañando aquí hoy por la agregada comercial de la embajada y por supuesto un enfoque muy importante en mi misión va a hacer aumentar y promover el eh, intercambio económico y comercial entre Israel y México. Tenemos eh, un acuerdo de libre comercio que tenemos que aprovechar y eh, profundizar. Eh, y tenemos que también, también incrementar el turismo entre ambos países, la inversión mutua, es una inversión mexicana importante en Israel y una inversión cada vez más creciente en México. Y otra vez con empresas como, como Happy, eh, introducir más y más empresas israelíes a México. Happy is basically uh, the brand in Mexico for Keepers. Keepers is working worldwide, currently in 10 countries. Um, and what we provide is basically, um, um, I would say, a tool or a toolbox for businesses, small businesses, medium businesses, to enlarge their businesses, to uh, build relationship with their clients and to make happy clients. That's why the name Happy is coming uh, here. So basically it allows them to um, communicate with clients, to build a loyalty club and increase, I think, um, um, both happiness and frequent visits of, of clients a long time. In uh, Latin America, we're working in Panama. We start working in Brazil, in Mexico uh, is just launching. Uh, we're working in the US, in the UK, in France, uh, in Turkey, in the Philippines, uh, Dubai, uh, Israel, of course. Commercial relationship with some of the Arab countries um, exist and I think will continue to exist. And I think this is a base for, you know, for communication and relationship between us and, um, you know, and Arab countries around us. You know, people are people all around the, all around the world. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, so we work uh, both commercially and we have personal relationship uh, uh, with those people around the world. It's such an interesting uh, place from uh, my point of view, especially as being a commercial attaché at the Embassy of Israel. There are so many opportunities here. Of course, there are also challenges for us, for the Israeli companies entering this market. But it's a very, very interesting place. Lots of opportunities. Israeli companies find Mexico very attractive, not only from the business point of view, but also are very much into this place because of the culture, because of the uh, warmth of the people, because they are being welcomed so nicely. Uh, and it's not so common these days to be accepted so well. Um, the Mexicans really um, um, adoring the technology and what Israel can offer to the Mexican market. And with this, it makes things much easier. Just go on and help the Israeli companies entering this market as smoothly as possible and to expand, expand their um, uh, staying here, staying here uh, in a good way uh, for the benefit of the Israeli industry. I was serving in Brazil for four years and then I came back to Israel working at the ministry in Jerusalem for several years, basically more with the Asian market and also with the Invest in Israel, the Investment Promotion Center, to attract investments to Israel. And then I came to Mexico, back to the Latin American region. I'm so happy to be here also because I don't have to face such things here. Thank God. In Israel, of course, when I worked with the European market and the American market, uh, you know, technology speaks, economy speaks, and whatever is related to, uh, to companies, to business, BDS, 
and whatever is related to it, it's not important. Business talks.